Whenever you're asked to evaluate an expression, it's a good idea to put parentheses where the variables are, and then you can plug in the corresponding values. So right where the x is, I'll put a set of parentheses where that y is. There's another set of parentheses. And then I'll just bring down everything else. So here's the 5. Uh, this minus sign is right here. And then squared is sitting up there. All right, now you just see what values you're given. Um, x is negative 2, so I'll put a negative 2 right here. And we have, uh, let's see, y is a 3, so you simply put in your 3. And now you solve the expression, as always, according to the order of operations. Um, parentheses, your first concern. <clears throat> but within parentheses there's really nothing to solve then exponents okay so you have the two touches parentheses so off to the side you have two sets of parentheses and we happen to know that each set of parentheses has a three within it so three times three would yield nine that nine simply goes right under here and now I'll bring down everything that I haven't touched this negative sign and 5 negative 2. Okay, now you uh, will take care of multiplication. 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. Bring down what you haven't touched. I'll slide this up now. And the signs are the same, so you add and keep the sign. And that's your answer. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Um, we have number 3 here. Um, again, I'm going to put parentheses where the variable is. And then just bring everything else down. So we've got our negative 5 and squared. Okay. Then you simply look up here and see, well, what is uh, z? z is a negative 4. So there's our negative 4. Okay. Um, the 2 is touching the parentheses, so you have two sets of parentheses. I'll do my scratch work off to the side. Okay. And we happen to know that um, we have a, a negative 4 inside the parentheses. Okay. Negative 4 times negative 4 would be a positive 16. So that 16 is going to go right underneath here. All right, now I'll bring down whatever I haven't touched. Okay, you have to realize that this 5 is trying to multiply whatever's in parentheses. You had to take care of the exponent first, but that operation of multiplication needs to be preserved. So instead of parentheses, I'll just put a dot. And now we have negative 516 would be negative 80. And that would be your answer. And let's see, we can do uh, probably another one. We'll do uh, order of operations down here. This one's a, a bit more involved. All right. Um, let's see, the first thing to worry about is within parentheses, you have another set of parentheses, so you go to your deepest set, positive 3, negative 12 yields uh, negative 9. And if you want to do something out here, um, this is a whole other world. You see how these parentheses close this off, and then you have something else going on over here. So we'll go ahead and calculate uh, positive 3, negative 5 yields a negative 2. And now I'm going to bring down everything I haven't touched. Um, this exponent um, the 3 and the negative 12 yielded that negative 9 but this negative sign has not been used yet the 5 comes down Um, okay, now within parentheses, oops, 
Um, I never like two signs in front of a number, so I'm going to clean that up. I can use the rules of multiplication to write that as one sign. And I'll take a whole other step to do that just to emphasize I want you to be real careful here. And let's see what's happening over here with our exponent. Um, the 3 is touching the parentheses. That means you have three sets of parentheses. And we happen to know there's um, a negative 2 in each one. Negative 2. And so this would be a 4. And then finally, negative 8. So the negative 8 is going to go right up here. And now I'll bring down everything I haven't touched. This plus sign, we still haven't used it. It's supposed to be a nice, neat looking 5 there. Incidentally, um, just because this is outside parentheses doesn't mean you can work on this. Um, I'm going to work on the 5 and the 9, but I can't subtract 21 from, or excuse me, I can't subtract 3 from 21 because this 3 is supposed to multiply whatever is the result from in here. And multiplication precedes addition or subtraction. So you have to be real careful with those parentheses. Um, let's see, okay, so 5 and 9, this yields a 14. And then we'll clean up these two signs in front of a number. Positive times negative yields a negative. And we'll bring down everything we haven't touched. Again, this 3 wanted to multiply, so I'll just use a dot there. Okay, and now let's slide this, whoops, slide this down some. Excuse me, slide it up some. And what do we have left to worry about? Uh, multiplication here. I'm going to say negative 3 times 14. That would be a negative 30, 42. Okay. Bring down whatever we haven't touched. 21. And this negative 8. Um, positive 21, negative 42. That yields a negative 21 bring down what I haven't touched, which is this increasingly patient negative 8. Uh, now the signs are the same. You add and keep your signs. So there's a negative 29. Okay, 